All right, Shalom, everybody out there. Yeah. I got a lesson plan here. I want to kind of try to go into kind of quick and hit it and quit it. Okay, Lord willing, I can uh, get this out. Lord willing, can get this this lesson out. All right, so anyway, all praise <clears throat> to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopefully elect out there. Hold on here. And uh, this lesson is entitled, American Pride Will Be Broken by the Lord. Okay? American Pride Will Be Broken by the Lord. And I apologize. You know, trying to get, <clears throat> eat some food and then hurry up and get the lesson done to try to squeeze it in, you know, and then bring out, try to say everything I want to say. Um, oftentimes when we in our, you know, regular walk in, our, in the world, in our lives, we get vexed, you know, by the day-to-day in Babylon the Great. One thing particularly that I've been noticing lately is uh, just the pride. I mean, I've been noticing it for a long time. Babylon the Great is a very proud place. The people that are in it are very proud you know, they have an entitled attitude. They believe that everything belongs unto them and they're number one in everything. That's just the overall American mind state. And when it comes to the tw- to the tribes of Jacob, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they in- they involved in it too because you can't, hey, a nigga in America is proud, man. You know, the Most High gave us a great humbling by we by us learning and finding out that we the Israelites <clears throat> you know, because the mo we found out that because of our our own iniquities, we wind up shalom, shalom to the elder Kazak from Mississippi and all you brothers out there. You how about me? How shot rock a thumb? Yeah, we found out because of our own iniquity, we wind up in the state that we're in now, over here in Babylon the Great. And even when we in the truth now, many of us might have had the opinion that we going when we come into the truth, we, everything is gonna be good. But even inside of the faith, you still get humbled. The most I do things to you, man, make you sick, take things from you, have you go through stuff you never thought you would go through, and it can all be humbling. But while you're being humbled, or while we're learning and we're growing in the faith, we're looking at everybody else around us. These people are hella proud, man. They are proud. But in the scriptures, the comforting thing is that it shows in the scriptures the pride is going to be brought low. And there's a few scriptures that I want to read first. <clears throat> Let's grab this uh, 